that's up like share subscribe hit the notification bell up above for future uploads and check out the links posted in the description down below as part of the channel thank you so here i have a video from irish only media and i want to give a full and total credit to the woman who recorded this video because it is important now more than ever that videos like these get out and get into the hands and eyes of the people this is why the government are going full on in by the way on the likes of this hate speech bill because they're like, uh oh, the natives are starting to realise what's going on far faster than we intended them to notice this. And that's why that's being pushed through and they're trying to move the talking points away from that, by the way. Keep your eyes on that and also keep an eye on what's going on here. Let's not forget, by the way, that the blockheads that are happening in Clare and in Santry so far have worked. It has resulted in the leftists and in particular NGOs going absolutely berserk as to how natives could stand up for themselves and say, no, no, we're not having any of this around here. Some of these people on Twitter are actually calling for the assault of these people. Is that not a call to action, is it not? Would that not be deemed hate speech? You see, these are the things that are going to get into muddy waters very soon because a lot of people now have finished with this nonsense they're not interested in this woke virtue signal and it's over it's done a lot of these people were told that people were coming from the blue and yellow flag waving country particularly women and children and people said eh, i suppose now what they're saying is wall-to-wall -wall dudes coming into these places and they're like hang on here this fella's coming in with the freshest of clobber coming in with a fresh fade and a lovely brand new watch what's going on here and they're saying that now by the bus load so that is starting to affect people and they're starting to look at that because you've got an awful lot of people that are family people in these areas and are very territorial and they're right to be and they're looking to protect their family and they're looking to protect the future of Ireland because Ireland is becoming a place now where in the last, we'll say, 10 to 15 years, you could walk around this country pretty carefree, not worrying about too much or anything like that. Those days are coming to an end and that's at the behest of the likes of the government and the media here in this country who have facilitated and allowed this and other individuals as you will see in this video. You've got uniforms that appear in this video and a fella in security, well supposedly security, in this video. All of these people don't understand right now but will understand in the future that the financial and economic repercussions for them is going to be big, going to be huge. Because you see the likes of Angarda Shia that's running recruitment drives in foreign languages to make Angarda Shia more diverse. Why do you think that is? Well, they're going to fill the likes of Angarda Shia with Kalechi and Ahmed that have come from Tim Pot Sheds. And the likes of Paddy and Sean who are saying, oh no, I'm not getting paid enough for what I'm doing. They're going to be laughed back out the door and they're going to get more Ahmeds and more Kalechis into the place. So just so you know that, that's where this is going. At the same time, the left are running with the playbook of, hey guys, uh, you can't buy a house right now and we're really sorry about that and going against these people is a totally bad idea. Meanwhile, over the last few years, people have been seeing councils, allegedly respectively, buying properties and filling them full of people that have only arrived into the country. Meanwhile, it is virtually impossible for an awful lot of people to buy a house here in this country. You also then have an issue where you have a middle class housing estate and what is it, 30% of it has to be given to social housing. So you've got people that are working really, really hard. An awful lot of the time, it's two people within the home and they're looking behind them and they're saying, people, not at this land, in those houses, hanging around doing nothing. You know what I mean? So they want to play the playbook of, oh my God, that's xenophobic. It's not really, it's a realist term of people going, hang on here for a second, I'm working very very hard and that person over there is that nothing and that falls into the line as well too of talking about irish people also don't forget that but you see people here in this video who are very calm very collected and are asking the right questions and indeed talking to a fella in this video that's wearing a snood in may it's warm here so that says to me that the guy that's doing the job is ashamed of what he's doing he says, ah, sure, it has to be done. No, it doesn't. Uh, I'm, I'm working. I don't know why he's saying working. It's working. I'm working two jobs. Can you not see why you're working two jobs? Like, have you got no clue as to what's going on? I mean, not too long ago, I'm talking about a generation ago. Some might even say, ah, oh, well, Ninja, it could be two generations ago. Okay, we'll go two generations ago. Two generations ago, one man could be the financial benefactor 
and bring in money to a house that could feed five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten kids. And at the same time, the wife was a homemaker. Could you do that today? Absolutely not. So you're working two jobs, obviously not very good jobs. Can you not see what's going on? A lot of these people that are coming into the place, that's what's happening. It's devaluing the profession that you're in. Like it's very simple. It's very simple economics. It's very simple financial terms. And I think what works as well too is when people, particularly, you know, <laughs> this woman, in fairness to her, comes across as a really nice woman from what I can hear. She's talking as if, you know, I suppose she's probably a mother the way she sounds. Because she's like, you're not, you're not ashamed of this, you're not, you're not thinking about this at all. Because I tell you what, that woman is thinking like an awful lot of other people out there in Ireland, which is, hang on here for a second, when my kid grows up, are they going to be safe? Are they going to be all right? Who was lurking around? You know, in times gone by, and indeed in times into the future, which is what we all assumed what it was going to be, was you knew the dodgy characters. We have enough problems of our own without important more. You knew the dodgy characters in your area. You had a very good idea about that. Now these people are being pushed in and you don't know who's doing what. And now you're getting reports on a weekly basis now of people up to no good. And a lot of them then, the likes of the media, are saying, Mead man, Dublin man, Longford man. And then you're looking at the pictures and you're like, doesn't check out. You're looking at the names and you're like, doesn't check out. And then you see this here, fresh clobber, fresh fades, fresh watches. It's absolutely unbelievable. Nice talking all you have on you. Look at the watch. It's your fighting age. Your fighting age. Don't yeah, fucking look at her like that again. Which way are you looking at? Have you left family, wife, home, kids? You're fighting me. You're bigger than me. You're ready. You're bigger than me. You're able to fight. I don't know you don't. But you can fight, right? Can't you? <coughs> Is there anybody left in City West or are they all in there? Are you coming? That's very smart, I must say. <laughs> You must be proud of yourself, are you? Oh, stop telling me that. <laughs> huh? Ah, no, you know, I'm just trying to make a few quid, that's all it is. I apologise, but it's just it's the way it is. Sorry. I know, but there's the women and children of Ireland that you have to think about. You know? No, as I You're said, young, there's a lot of things you could be doing other than this, you know? Working two jobs, it's done telling me. Must be really good money. What? Must be really good money, so, is it? No, it's just has to be done. But you shouldn't be the one to do it. Now you, you know I... You don't do it here? Yeah. yeah. Where's your ID? I left in the room. But sure, I thought you weren't meant to be... I thought you had to have that present. Oh, yeah, on you your, on your body, all points. Yeah. He, 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 yeah, he's... He's not letting you in. Listen. You just need it. You all need to make money. You all need to make money. Yeah. You have to think about it. It's very reminiscent, isn't it, of the Bible when you think about Judas Iscariot and the money that was taken for that. Oh, well, you know, I just had to, I had to go with it there. Uh, no, you didn't. You didn't have to do that at all. It's funny how these biblical stories are starting to come back and make a full circle now as to, hang on guys, I think we had it right at the beginning. You started to divert away from that and you're starting to come back right back to where we began and all of those teachings that were given to us in the beginning. So what you have now is a guy that has somewhat come to the realisation as to what he's up to, feels a sort of way about it. Now obviously as well, I would like to see individuals like those let people know what's going on inside the place, what's happening there, because clearly he's apologising for what he's doing. He's still saying he's taking the money. The money's not that good, then he's saying. You wouldn't be able to pay me enough to do anything like that, honestly, seriously. And that goes to show you an awful lot of what went on over the last couple of years. Oh, it just has to be done like we won't say anything here. We just, you know, just go along and do it. 
it's shameful stuff really and to me this comes allegedly as i said from clondalkin these areas now are being opened up more and more and this is coming to an area near you very soon this sort of thought and this sort of behavior and people are starting to mobilize now and gather together and again respectfully peacefully standing outside these places and saying no 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 we don't want any of this here so to me you're seeing the likes of Angarda Shea Connor rolling into town there and into the area. I think that that's very strange that you've got an awful lot of guys that are in there without documentation. Should that not be the job of Angarda Shea Connor to go in and check the documentation of these guys? And if they don't have any, well, they should be deported. Should that not be happening? What about the people that are facilitating this? What about the politicians that have facilitated and allowed this to happen? Are, are they rolling up there and checking out what's going on? Are they questioning any of these people? Why is that? Why are they not doing that? Now I know what you will say. That's foolish, Ninja Knight. Sure, these people are just being told what to do, like this guy. And they're just going, well, oh, yeah, well, it'll have to be done. I agree. But when's it going to be enough? Because a lot of people are now starting to realise that these issues are happening in their areas. And this is happening in rural areas now. It's happening in the countryside. And like I said before, I think rural boys are going to be very important going forward. And I think what we need now when I'm talking about rural boys, I think we need the likes of, what I'd like to say, a John Dutton, a character from Yellowstone. I think we need one of those now that needs to come forward, needs to be running for an election, needs to hold a lot of money, perhaps even set up their own media station and go from there then and post what's going on because I can only do so much on this app and certainly as well specifically on the likes of instagram twitter facebook there's only so much that can go on there and again on this platform so it's up to you the people to be sharing this information and letting people know what's going on here in our beautiful country of ireland that has been absolutely totally and utterly disregarded and disrespected and is coming from high on up let me know what you think in the comments make sure you like share subscribe hit the notification bell up above for future uploads and check out the